What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the 423. Mindy Kaling is facing some backlash today over a few of her answers in a recent interview with Vanity Fair. Her new movie, Late Night, is about a late night talk show host who hires her first and only female staff writer. And originally, she does so just to smooth over diversity concerns. Mindy's the one who wrote this movie and obviously did so after having her own similar experiences, being the only woman or the only person of color in the writer's room. And the subject in her Vanity Fair feature mimicked this experience and the content of the new film. If you're a fan of Kaling's work, like her show The Mindy Project, you're probably familiar with the fact that her love interests in the series are always white guys. The article brings up certain headlines about this very criticism, like the one that says Mindy Kaling only makes out with white guys, and Mindy says that she's grappled with these criticisms, and looking back, she might have cast those roles differently. But at the time, these storylines simply felt true to her own experiences because, quote, white guys were the only ones who hit on her. Indian men didn't. And of course, people are not satisfied with this answer, saying both that Mindy is one, lying, and two, there are more men out there beside white and Indian, and she could have cast whoever she wanted for her love interest because she's the one writing it. These dudes obviously don't have to actually be interested in her to play the role. In the interview, she also talks about how she never thought it was fair that it's left up to women and people of color to be the pioneers for diversity, saying, I doubt anyone asks white men what they're doing for diversity on screen, but she admits that she's been inspired by Ava DuVernay's work in supporting other black creators. And this Vanity Fair piece isn't the first time she's addressed these same exact issues. She did an AMA on Reddit back in 2015 where she got some similar questions regarding a lack of diversity on her own show, which she simply said she didn't agree with. The fan asked, One, for a show produced by a woman of color, why does your show have very little diversity? And two, why did you decide to add a stereotypical, sassy black woman character to your show? She responded saying, I think I disagree with your premise. We have six series regulars. One, the lead is me, an Indian woman. Another is an African American woman. That's a third of our cast. Although, of course, I hate to think of us in those terms. I do think it's important, though. We can always do better. I always think it's funny that I'm the one asked about this when sitcoms I love with female leads rarely date men of color. I guess white women are expected to date white men. I'm expected to stick to my own. And in response to this sassy black woman comment, Mindy wrote, I think you're talking about Tamara. I'm sad you reduce her to a sassy black woman. Is it because Tamara wants to be famous and loves to perform at work and puts a value on superficial things? I love to play that as Kelly on The Office, and I love that Tamara is young, loves celebrities, and is confident into herself. I hate that it's reduced to someone else's version of a racial stereotype. So she's been dealing with these same questions for a very long time now, and I think it's clear from the Reddit AMA four years ago to now, she has recognized that it's essentially her responsibility to hire more diversity because one, she knows what it's like not to have those opportunities, and two, if she or other people of color don't, who will? I obviously think that white creators should and do have a responsibility to hire writers, actors, and every other position with diversity in mind, but at the end of the day, When they go into interviews or other press, they're generally being questioned by predominantly white publications who just aren't going to check them. Mindy was also interviewed by USA Today this week, where she revealed that she was a diversity hire on The Office and talks about how uncomfortable it made her. She said, I had this huge fear of, God, I'm representing so many millions of people here by my sheer presence, and if I don't do well, it's a reflection on my race and my gender, which is devastating. But I don't get why she wouldn't take that experience and put it toward helping other women and people of color get job in writer's rooms where they won't feel that way. She's gotten criticism in the past for not only having those white love interests I mentioned before, but having a very bland writer's room on the Mindy Project as well. So I guess I'm just confused on why she's not adamant about helping others when she clearly knows how hard it is for someone like her to make it in a male-dominated industry. But of course, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of Mindy's answers regarding only having white love interests on her show? And do you think she's right in that it shouldn't fall on minorities to employ people like them? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 420 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.